Councilperson Holloway. Uh, when you look at uh, the possibilities for the, uh, for the uh, uh, Oilers uh, coming to Nashville, uh, and if you look at it from an economic perspective, what do you see and what can you tell our audience this morning about the impact that it could have not only uh, uh, among your constituents and give us some information about the people that you represent as well as other areas uh, too. Okay, uh, that's, that is something I guess I should have said is that I do represent a district that is 82 percent white and 12 percent uh, African American, 6 percent other. Uh, the, the, what this could bring to Nashville is uh, around 1,400 new jobs, uh, 300 million dollars 300 million dollars over a 30-year term is what the oilers will be paying to Nashville. Uh, and, and the other things that we can look at too is how this is going to affect the African-American community. And I think that's something that has, has really been left out of the whole picture of this. And uh, how that's going to affect them right on the front end is 40 million dollars before we can even go any farther. It's 40 million dollars that will be pumped into the African-American businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, everybody talks about the TSU stadium and the fact that there will be room mm -hmm. in that stadium for TSU, mm -hmm. which, is, uh, which is great mm -hmm. because uh, I, I, this is, thank you for giving me this time to emphasize mm -hmm. to people mm -hmm. that the state of Tennessee cannot buy TSU a stadium. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, people don't know that. And when I say people, I'm talking about the people that go to the games. A lot of times they think that, that, uh, the, T that the state of Tennessee mm -hmm. can buy stadiums or they purchase stadiums for other sc schools. And that is not how it's done. Mm -hmm. That is purchased through your athletic department, those proceeds that go in there, or your alumni, them mm -hmm. raising that money. So uh, the fact that this stadium is open to TSU mm -hmm. is wonderful in itself but the impact on the dollars in the African American community is going to be mm -hmm. something that we have not been able to see mm -hmm. um, probably ever mm -hmm. and I don't know if this would ever happen again mm -hmm. if we let it go by now. What do you think about that uh, Attorney Manson and I, and I think that I've heard that said on many occasions that uh, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for Nashville and et cetera and et cetera all of the things that what, we, what, what, what are we saying? If here? you look in the media there there are so many cities that are trying to attract professional sports into their city. Um, I think we ought to give credit where credit is due. Our council people that sit on that council have looked at this issue, uh, they've studied it you know mm -hmm. probably more than you and I have mm -hmm. uh, and if you notice the position that they took early on was that this has got to have some direct impact on our community or else we're not going to be in favor of it. And I think they were more than responsible in getting people involved very early, you know, in the process of understanding what was it, what really was at stake. Whether it's a lifetime opportunity, I think all you have to do is look at the numbers and see mm -hmm. that without this injectment of cash in our community, then we're going to essentially be pretty much where we are now. As a side issue, mm -hmm. these teams bring a lot of professional athletes with them and everybody knows what the level of income these professional athletes have. If you would figure that, that this could uh, in fact bring 15, 20, maybe 30 new millionaires to the city, mm -hmm. many of them will be people that will live, work, and do business in our community. And I think we've got to begin to talk about Mm -hmm. you know what's real and what's not. There's a lot of, a lot of bad information out there. Mm -hmm. Some of it's coming from, um, and I won't call them leaders, but just people that, that are very selfish and are looking for an issue just to raise mm -hmm. uh, some question as to, the, to either the, the importance or the validity mm -hmm. of this, of this uh, proposed stadium. But I think we've got to be guided by people like you know, Ms. Holloway here who studied this issue, who sits on that council, mm -hmm. and was really, I think, and she's not going to say this, but she, mm -hmm. I think she was instrumental in making sure that the issue was fully discussed and explored. Mm -hmm. Never before had our council people sit and dealt with an issue like this and made, I think, the right decision mm -hmm. by supporting it. Very good. Uh, Ms. Holloway, we've got about 23 seconds before we have our first commercial break. Of course, when we come back, we want uh, you to talk about the impact that you believe that this uh, issue is going to have on African Americans, especially uh, those uh, within your, uh, uh, your constituent. Uh, we want uh, you to give us some information in reference to that. And we'll be back with you following this commercial break.